The locals were none too happy to see us here. Looks like after the war, they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. But with the aid from a woman called Katya, the cultist had been keeping imprisoned here, I managed to give them the slip. Luckily, I was able to avoid casualties in the process. Katya mentioned an engineer called Crest, who's hiding from the cultists in the port. He could help us fix the Aurora and cross the bridge. Now seems to be a good time to pay him a visit. Stuck here for good. <laughs> Damn moronic fanatics. Single flashlight got them riled up enough to keep chasing me ever since. Had to make hideouts all over the place. Just quite convenient in its own way. You never know when night is going to get you. Also, not the place like the back of my head now. It sure seems interesting. I used to be a military stockpile of some kind here for one. Didn't go inside though, looks like there are some chemicals there. And there's this large house across the channel from here. It seems to be long abandoned, so uh, something interesting might still be there. Can't get to it without the bull though. I guess I'll have to do something about it soon. Anyway, life goes on. That's all in the news department for now.
Mutant!
up here! You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Blin. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not a palace, one. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away, Blin. Dumb cretins didn't like my light. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. You shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too. <laughs>
Uh, you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast, well, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them, it's nothing, but you come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. Just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Ooh, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently? I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there, bullets, waiting for something. But I know they're bad news, you know? Villagers say people started going missing when the bandits come. You, know, you go fishing or something, then you just don't come back. Well, I could go on for ages like this, but your leader wanted something done. Just go on ahead. I'll gather some stuff here. I'll see you at your train. No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. Get your act together, people! There may be no NATO troops walking around, but it still doesn't mean you can act like a bunch of tourists! Miller over and out! 